Well, how's everybody doing today? It's Friday. We're down here at the Gear Jammers Garage again for another weekend of working on the on the ride. This thing is uh, this thing is just it's gonna it's gonna be the death of us before the the summer starts. But uh, as you can see, we're gonna work on the rear window and we're also gonna work on the side window tonight. Where it's our that's our goal. We want to get at least that accomplished and if we can maybe we'll work on the other side window but that's that's the game plan um you want me to give you a hand here all right all right you pull it you just pull it haha <laughs> so yeah we uh we were trying to try to make it down this week but uh chewy ended up working and stewie ended up working and it was just it was just one of those things but we're down here for the weekend anyway so we'll be here for a few days but yeah so yeah so like i said side windows we're gonna put the rear end today. See if we can yeah. get it all tucked in there and I'll ready get the to go. Drivers back next next Monday, he said. Okay, and then and if he didn't do it today, he said uh, on Monday. Okay, well, that's cool. So what we're doing now, anyway, is is that Stewie's gonna grab the old window, okay? And that's the new one, obviously. But he's gonna grab the old window, and uh, it was that we uh, find the two center holes. So that's what we're gonna start with. So. The top one in the center and the bottom one down here in the center. We're going to drill them out, the matching ones from the old window, which is right here. And then once we drill those two out, we'll be able to uh, put the window in. And uh, yeah, we'll be able to rivet that in. And then we'll just chase it down from one end to the other. When we get to the edges, we have ourselves the heating device. I think we uh, introduced that the last time. Let's go over here for a second. If anybody wants to see. Hold on here, let's see. Mm, is it? Is it? Is it? No! No! Oh, no! 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 Don't, don't do it! <laughs> it's out of your drawers. Stop dancing, Bob! I can't help myself. This is my ADHD and shit kicks in. It is what it is. <laughs> I can't help but work, Robbie. I have to do it. So yeah, this weekend too, I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to get the. Uh, Fasters in here, get the hood ones put on, and uh, maybe get that all a little bit more secured. Uh, we're not going to work on the front window. We're going to wait until more to the end for that because, again, it's just easier for us to do wiring and whatever else we need to do without a window in it. So, But Stewie's been working like crazy on all the wiring. As you can see, we've got the headers in. They're good to go. And, again, we're going to uh, work on these pieces that we're... Yeah, I chewed up and everything for the back windows so we can put these back windows in. So, Anyway, thanks for sticking with us. We're uh, going to get started. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you won't miss any time we go and put up a new video. We are about 30 days-ish away from our first filming event at TMP in Cayuga. Toronto Motor Sports Park. They have a Ontario Street Outlaws no prep up there on April 29th. So that's where we're going to be. Big shout out, like I said, to the Gear Jammers and Rob Linda for letting us use the shop. And a big shout out to Image Line for my merchandise. Big shout out to Sean and everybody there at St. Thomas Napa Auto Parts on Moore Street. We'll see you soon, guys. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so got a couple of the rivets in we're coming around here to the side and right there just needs to be ground a little bit more before we can kind of tuck it under there so that's what we're doing Robbie's under the, the car tonight he's changing the speedo on there he changed the rear gear so now he's just changing the speedo gear so I don't know what he's playing with underneath the, the wife's set of wheels tonight Yes, sir. And uh, Stuart got the side window. Well, he's in the, almost done, but he's got the, the side window in. Starting to look really good. We're going to see if we can get the moldings and everything in. Like I said, we get this back window in. I'm going to see if we can get that side window. i got a little bit of work to do, though, first. I've got to take this here. Uh, got to take this piece here. And I've got to... I'm going to hammer and dolly that. You won't really see it. I think I showed it in the other video. You're really not going to see it. And then I'm going to use a little bit of uh, the old aluminum tape to kind of hide it. You won't really see it once you kind of blend it all in there. Again, 
at 150 miles an hour if you can see it show me so <laughs> so that's what I'm saying anyway we're getting there so no Chewy tonight he's on call unfortunately so if you're watching this Chew we'll see you when you can get yourself out here brother but uh, yeah we got Plymouth down here a bunch of other little tabs that uh, that she put in here for us the wing we can start getting some of that stuff ready um, I'm not sure if I'm putting it in this video or not but I've been working on Stuart's uh, grill it was uh, look like somebody stood on it there's there's before videos and everything maybe I'll, I'll slide it in right here and show you but hopefully we can get that stuff back here too so all right he's actually they actually got the window in. Nice and solid. It's all been re riveted in. Everything's all nice and tight. Fittings are in there. Nice new rivets in there. We put a couple down in here. New ones up in the top. Everything's all nice and tight. He's tightened up all the, the nuts for the window, the reinforcement. Good to go. Looking good. Look at that. See? Oh, yeah, fall off. So. We got this side over here. I'm going to finish that off. But geez, that turned out really good. Hey, that's uh, that's coming in there nice. This side over here. I'm just going to uh, come over here like right now, and we're going to finish off this side. And as soon as we're done that, we're going to put in that side window on the far side. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Yeah, it looks like there's a center part there. Yeah. Yeah. Looks pretty good though, guys. We got the, some trim in there, and uh, got the the. the well, I guess you'd call it a spacer, but it's actually just a, a rubber. But it goes in there just to kind of pinch everything in. So tomorrow we're going to get all the clips in there. And uh, the window's all secured in. We'll get that peeled. And, uh, yeah, it's a, it turned out really well. Over here, Stuart turned out really well today. That side window's all in like we showed you earlier. Um, it's all good to go. So we've got the window ready to go. It's pre-drilled. He's got this all taken out, ready to go. And we worked a bit on this today. Now... You can't see enough of it to really worry about, but that's what you're going to see at the end of it all. So at least it's going to be hidden by the trim, about 90% of it. Not really going to see it. So, yeah. So that's going to take care of our Friday night down here at the Jammer's Garage. And uh, just like we did last time, it'll be about a total of about three seconds in the video, but it'll be... Well, 24 hours for you guys so thanks for sticking around with us we will see you in about two seconds so ta-da we're back it is saturday we are back here at the shop and having at it so right now stewie's already been hard at it already as you can see starting to peel the protective covering off of the window we're going to get the the back window buttoned up and everything else he's going to work on that for a little bit i'm going to climb inside the car and uh hole. i'm going to yeah, I'm gonna start uh, in putting in a window and so that's what we're gonna do today We're probably going to even finish up. I think we have the piece I think we're gonna go and and put all the piece up in here too and everything and we'll get it all We'll get it pretty secured in there. So anyway, thanks for sticking with us it, uh, Haven't seen Rob yet. I think he's still in the house. I think we uh, I think we kept him up a little I think we kept him up a little late last night past his bedtime <laughs> hard to say i don't know so we'll get we'll get working on that but yeah everything seems to be working like looking really good everything seems to be awesome we're gonna have to we're gonna have to play with the trim a little bit it's 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 a little old but she'll go she'll go then we're gonna jump like i said i'm gonna jump in here and i'm gonna get that uh i'm gonna get that window in there that's the game plan we were able to get that piece fixed i showed you there earlier and uh so that's what we're gonna do not a nice day out either. Crappy. You see the floor? Rain was coming in. You can kind of see through the window. Like it's just it's just snotty outside. Anyway, I'll bring you some more action here in a little bit. Alright, well, unfortunately, it's been a wee bit of a pain in the butt. But anyway, we're able to get this all in, the back window's in. He's got his first sticker on. Side windows in. Now this is what I've been playing with today is this trim piece here. It was uh, it was in really bad shape. They didn't really want to go in there 
this was all bent up and twisted and it's not like you can go to the corner store and get those so we're just gonna put that back window in now this one here same deal it's all ready to go in I just have to fix this back little piece here where they cut through obviously and then uh, yeah we'll throw that one in but hopefully we can uh, get the back window in and get the outside trim on we have the new pieces uh, if you remember the old piece that went down here actually stopped because they cut right through here when they cut it um, and it basically went right through this piece here so Stuart was able to pick up a couple pieces from a friend of his today which was awesome great thanks to him for that appreciated and uh, yeah so it's coming together uh, it's just been a, a long, frustrating day having to tap and bang and whatever, but it's it's going to happen. So we got the window somewhere. I did the window somewhere. Window's here somewhere. Anyway, the window's going in next. All right, see, starting to look good. We got stickers on. We got the back window in. Or I should say side, side window. I gotta pull this little plastic off. Yeah, look at that. That looks awesome. Fits in there nice. You look at the door closing. Remember, this is the one we had all the problems with? Look at that. Right up there. Beauty. I don't take so. fucking passengers, anyways. Well, there's only, it's only a one seater. I mean. Okay, that's a little. Oh, just on the rubber. Okay, I was like, why was that tight? Okay. So yeah, so the back window's all in, and here is the trim on the floor, which is going to go up here. There's a hole back in here, it's been bondoed in. If you zoom in right over there, you can see it on the other side. So I'm just gonna go in there on the side and just drill that out, and we'll be on our way. All right, everybody, this is gonna be the end of today's video. We've been at it for, oh, I don't even know, four, four or five hours. We've been at it up most of the day today, Saturday. As you can see, we got the windows in, trim in. Are we good? That looks dandy right there. He's putting his stickers on here. We have, oh, we can't put this piece on because we haven't got the front window in. So they they are good to go. Everything is, is good to go for the A pillars on everything. So basically tomorrow when we come back, we will be working and doing the exact same thing on the other side. The only thing is we do not have the actual driver's window. Uh, Stewie's gonna pick that up probably Monday, so that's what we'll do. But we don't need that right now because we can still put the trim on. Um, we can still put the back window in and get it pretty much secured. Like we have, we have the old window, so we could put it in just to mock it up so we know what the angle is and everything like we did on the other side. Um, if you look, well, first off, while I'm walking by it, I still have to fix this, so I'll do that tomorrow as well. That won't take me very long because that one's not as chewed up as bad. But you see here, this is actually on an angle. Like it's not straight up and down, it's on an angle. So to make sure that is in the right spot, I have to make sure that I have the window in. So I'll probably use the old window, put it back in, mock it up tomorrow. And then when Stuart comes in, we can put the other window in. If we have to do a little trimming with the new window, that's fine. But it's starting to look really good. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're getting there. We're about... Oh, today is the 20 something. That's we're, we're just over about six weeks, just under six weeks, maybe five and a half weeks from May 6th will be the opening day. So tomorrow, I guess too, if we have a few extra minutes and we get some time, we may get on uh, uh, putting on the uh, zoot fasteners for the, the rear deck lid here. Like I said, putting on the uh, plates on the front so we can start getting, uh, getting that ready to go. So, but anyway, guys, that's going to do her. We will do another uh, two-second delay, and we'll be back again tomorrow to, to give you some more of it. So, again, thanks for uh, hanging with us, and uh, we'll see you in a couple of seconds, guys. All right, so it's Sunday. We're back at it again. We're not going to babble this morning, but it is the day we will tackle at the side. This will not be as much of a hassle because this piece is not even attached. We haven't got that in there, which will be perfect to get those the window in. I'm going to take the trim piece here. I'm going to go take and fix that up a little bit right now so we can rivet that in about the next five or ten minutes. And uh, we're on a hunt. We got, we got a piece 
MIA, but we're not exactly sure where it is. And it's this piece right here. So, not sure exactly where it is. We, we, will, we will do the hunt. It's around here somewhere. It's just gotta, we just got to find it. With that being said, thanks for checking uh, back with us today. Uh, hopefully we'll uh, have something to accomplish before the end of the day. So, thanks guys. Appreciate it. All right, well, got the top molding on. All the way down. Looks really super nice. And we ended up getting the inside molding done for the window. So we just got to throw a little bit of rubber in there and uh, get that in there. And we have to find that piece. Now is the time to find that piece that we were looking for for the window. So we have the window. It is right here. So that will go in like we need. But again, like I said, we need to figure out whether or not we have that part. We need that part or what the case is. But... That's what we're going to do now. I am going to get in there. I'm going to find the rubbers. I'm going to try to find that end piece, and uh, we're going to try to get this done today. Stewie's been over here. You see he's been polishing the crap out of the aluminum everywhere today. Got to keep it pretty, guys. It's, I mean, at least you'll be down here in a week or two, and I'm going to give her a big polish. We'll, uh, we'll show you some of that, too. But All right, enough of babbling. I got to go find that part. All right, well, as you can see, we have a very beautiful day out today. Sun is a shining. It's actually got to be, I'm going to say it's about, what, 9 degrees out probably? Maybe 10? So, gorgeous, gorgeous day out today. So, little things today, nothing much. We're just going to we're gonna shoot the video off and just end it for today. But we made a phone call to our guru who found the, has the trim and everything else to see if he can't find these pieces for us for the other side. But we were able to finish off getting all the trim on the other side. The trim is on the inside. The rubber is in. We just need to trim off all these little pieces from the old rubber. But the rubber is in the other piece. The outside is on. The only real damage which you really can have to really kind of see is up in there. But that's, that's where they cut it all through. Like that's so... As you can see on the back side, right? You can see the weld. We showed you in the previous video. So, now mind you, we did have a little issues with some of the trim because, again, with it being welded back together, there was a space difference as well as a not a, maybe say 100% square. We had to, I had to manipulate the drip rail a little bit to get the trim to, to tuck up in there, but it looks really good. Stewie's been uh, hard at work, like just brutally hard at work today. He's been polishing out all kinds of the aluminum down here in the little side panels and down around this side panel and he's been inside here and outside there he's been over here to the front and he's been polishing away you see it on the floor and so yeah we're uh, we'll be back again this week we'll get some pieces we gotta i gotta get some more rivets uh, i started over here and we got the tabs in but unfortunately got ourselves down to a little bit too short of a rivet they don't make it through so as you can see over here so I'm going to grab about another couple packs because we're going to need them to put in the zoot fittings down here for the rear deck lid as well. And I will, once we get that done, I should have the grill ready to go back in so that we can put the clip on. Like I told you guys before about this, we may have to do a little bit of modifying here of bringing this up because again, I, I, it, it's all going to depend on the gap on where we actually do that. So if we have to bring up another, like a, a piece of round stock, we will, but. The, the problem I see with doing that, if we go with a spacer on the top. Yep. Is the lineup of the bolts, right? From, because if you bring that up, right? Yeah. When you go to put the front end on. Yep. It's going to be that much higher and it's going to lift the fucking bolt. Well, what, what I'm saying is, is we'll, we'll weld a piece of round stock to here though. So that when we put the bolt through, it'll be it'll be solid. We, but we we'll, we'll see what the spacing is that we need. Maybe we can get away with just maybe making the hole bigger and putting a bigger bolt in it, so we can bring it up a little bit. But what what the problem lies, guys, is is up here. So when we have the fitting, I think this is going to have to be massaged back a little bit because again, like you said, this, this was all cut off. So this was never going to come back to being 100% square. And the same with down here. But this seems to when this is locked, it's really good with the gap. It's up here where the gap is off. But again, back here, when we lift the front of the, the clip up, it closes this gap. But until we can get it uh, all until we get it all put back together, 
it uh, it has to be done. Now we got the clip off, and I can show you something I was gonna try to show you guys earlier, and I totally forgot. But it's this in here. It's it's hard to see, but they didn't really structurally mount this. This is this is a very flimsy front. So I may come back in here and put a reinforcement back in. If you can see a couple of spots in here, this is this is not very. Uh, it's not very secure. It just, it just, it doesn't need to be heavier. It just needs to be maybe a triangulated uh, support put in. Like down here, we got a little piece of aluminum that looks like it's trying to hold something, and this piece of aluminum is all bent to rat shit. So I mean, it's it, it just, just something a little stronger. I think needs to be put in there, and I think it would really stiffen the front end up, especially when uh, when you're talking the gap up in here, right? We just need to bring that up a bit. But if he stopped doing wheelies for like 60 feet out of the hole and slamming the front end back down on the ground, we wouldn't have that problem. Just saying. But anyway, hope you guys liked it. We'll uh, we'll be with you here shortly. And uh, we'll, we'll do it again this week. And we'll bring you another video right shortly. That being said, hope you guys have yourself an awesome week. And uh, we will try to bring you something a little bit new soon. Our goal is, is probably by two weeks from now is to put power to it and see if we can get it turned over. And we'll go from there. So that's... That's going to be the plan, boys and girls, children of all ages. So we're going to take off for now. Thanks for joining us. If you're new to the channel, again, don't forget to like, subscribe. I've been looking at the, the data and everything, and it says that 75% of you guys that are watching aren't subscribed. So it only takes a second. Smash that button, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, and we'll listen to everything, and we'll try to get back with you guys. If you're interested, leave a comment. We'll, maybe one night we'll come out and we'll go live when we're out here again for you guys. Uh, we had a blast doing that. So. Anyway, have yourself a good week. We'll talk to you in the next video, guys. Love you all. Peace. Bye for now.